We're all running out of the strength to fight. There's no reason for shedding any more unnecessary blood here. We need to settle everything for good with our next attack. This country has got to change, and it's up to us, Rebels. I just can't let you break it. Mr. Three wouldn't be happy about that at all. What'd you do? During a bullfight, a bull can't control his urge to attack the red cape. Likewise, you can't do anything now but attack that red circle. That's what I did. Hey, no way! We couldn't do that! He looks too strong! Right, Poochie? Besides, we discard the ship, not fight people! Are you stupid? Why in the world did you hold on to the waiver's jet? <laughs> Sorry. Everyone else managed to escape, and we've been left behind because of your stupidity! It's all your fault! Uh, don't worry. Get us out of here! I was hoping my four powers would be enough, but I guess not. I'm afraid I haven't mastered the finger pistols yet, but I've got a little stand in that to do the job quite nicely. Alright, this is my chance to go to the next car! Hey, I thought we were having a fight here! <laughs> Little girl, stop right there! There is no way you could possibly think I'm an old man! I'm more like an older brother, right? Well, you smell like an old man! I am not old! Just give me back those goggles! I found them first! Am I? Am I? Yeah? Am I? You better watch your mouth! Cause I'm friends with the Marines and I'll get them to beat you up! The, the Marines? Not of my family's. He's kind of like my uncle. Why, you little... Okay. You have lots of rage, I see that. All the more reason for you to hone your powers. Then you could channel that rage into something constructive, such as killing the prematurely bald. <laughs> so now what? Do fish spotting? Alright, sounds kinky. I thought fish spotting was slang for something. But this is nice, too. That's a rare orange-crested Tweety Bird fish. And those? Chocolate-covered rainbow trout spaniels. You're so smart! Leaving already? That's new. This place is covered in moss. Yes. This is where the light wine spilled onto the ground last night. So, have you given up on studying Shinra then? For now, I guess. I hear his grandmother doesn't like strangers nosing around. <laughs> well, if you're ever traveling this way, I do hope you'll stop by. I know it can't be helped, but Shinra does get lonely here by himself. The reason I brought you to this island is to see the so-called living god. What's that? She used to be just a normal girl. Please, you have to save her. Everyone is being fooled. The man next to her is her father, the head of the household. Every day, a miracle happens to her. Today is the day that her believers are allowed to pay their respects. I think we're beyond the point of it all just being a big coincidence. Ditto. That reporter, what's his name again? Shibata? He's definitely getting the inside scoop from someone and acting on it. I'm very sorry for your loss, Miss Kirino. Please leave now! This is a private funeral, and neither of you are welcome here! Your father was a friend. I just want to pay him my respects. How dare you say that to me after what you've done! Just who in the hell do you think you are? Yoshiyuki! I assure you, this is just a misunderstanding. Don't play dumb. I don't know what you're talking about. Really? I saw the photos! I think the police will decide if this is a misunderstanding or not. But for now, just leave! like the Naru in my dreams. Could you tell I was feeling better? Of course. You usually get depressed first, and then you get mad. But you normally tend to bounce back pretty quickly after that. Gosh, how do you know that about me? Because it's written all over your face. Uh, it is? Oh, man. Midori is too much of a ladies' man. He can't be trusted. I can't ask Kanai. He's way too bossy. Harima seems to like Tenma, and he's pretty much a psycho, so that won't work. Whatever I do, I can't let those three know about it. I want you to be totally honest with me. I need to know how you feel about me. What do you mean? Are you... you don't... what? If you don't like me, I completely understand. It's not like that at all! Huh? Oh, 
Uh, actually, I was asking how you felt about me as a coach, not that. <laughs> Hey! You're a Claymore, right? I mean, you look no different than a normal girl. I guess I just expected that you'd be a lot scarier looking. <laughs> Are you still giggling, you silly girl? I can't help it. The look on your face when everyone started cheering and clapping it was the first time I'd ever seen you look surprised. I'm sorry. I think I'm just letting my nerves get the best of me. It's okay. It's a normal reaction for a human being. Human being? You bet. Human. You're right. Stand fast! I said hold your position! Good morning. Hikaru, what in the world happened to your hair? Why is it dyed pink? Because pink suits me. Don't you think it's cute? From now on, I'm the pink-haired twin. I didn't want to be mistaken for that Kaoru for the rest of my life, you know? Is something wrong? Tell me, big brother. I'm sorry, Kirimi-chan. But I'm not the big brother that you've been looking for. Cause of death? We don't know. The medical examiner found nothing, just a couple of broken fingers. Maybe it's him. The one we keep hearing all the rumors about. The Reaper. <laughs> Shinjuku Torino Theater. Parking is available. Shinjuku Torino Theater. Parking is available. Really? So you just moved to the city, huh? <laughs> Guess that explains the way you dress. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I haven't always lived here either, you know. We actually lived in Africa for a while, if you can believe that. Here. I'll show you something. But you gotta keep it a secret, okay, Lee? Oh, really? If you're flying wherever you want to, then what's the point of having a decoy? And if my decoy can't zoom, then how am I supposed to sneak up behind and bang, bang? I can't. I can't bang, bang. The bang doesn't work without the zoom. Now, if the enemy goes boom, boom, then we need to counter with a zap. This must be Emily. That doll means quite a lot to you, doesn't she? And not just because she contains your mimic. She must be something very special. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, Emily. I can't tell if she likes me. Does she? Heck, <laughs> I just got into town a few hours ago on the train, and then I ran into this annoying little cat. The furball ate something important of mine, so I chased him. Take it easy, Tiki. Let's keep things civil. We're trying to have a nice family dinner. Isn't that right, Lord Millennium? So I was thinking maybe you could set the mood for the rest of the evening by telling us exactly why we're here. Unless I'm mistaken. It's time for us to start the party. I assume you're calling me kid. Which is funny, because watching you jerks, I started missing the sandbox. You dirty brat. I guess you came over here looking for a beating, huh? That's not true, and I'm not a dirty brat. Name's Firo Prochineso. I also happen to be one of the youngest members of the Martillo family. What's wrong? What's it say? Dallas! Does that letter have any news about where my brother is? Is there anything at all? Hi! I'm his real best friend, Tatsuya. Ren! I had no idea you were hanging out at the park today. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. But since you're here, and we randomly ran into each other, we should hang out. Look at you. If you keep this up, then people might start to accuse you of being a nice person. And I just hate for your reputation to be ruined. I can hit any pitch he throws at me. In a game situation, there's never a ball I can't hit. We're half anxious, half excited to get the season started. And as the equipment manager, I'll do my best to support the guys every step of the way. You know, I've never seen the transformation choker look lovelier than it does on you. Get him. I don't want to wear this to school! Sorry, but the password is top secret and HQ needed extra time. They had to process some documents or something like that. I don't buy that for a hot second. Why are you always so suspicious, Natsumi? Because the only thing you know how to do is lie! <laughs> 
Pardon my nosy intrusion, but that's what I do. My name is Haro Nijima, and I am Kenichi's closest of close friends. Oh, you're one of Kenichi's friends? That's right. I am his closest friend. And a friend of my close friend is a friend I'd like to get close to. <laughs> Chocolate, malted milk balls, cookies, and Big Brother's favorite cheesy fish sticks. There. Hey, Mom, do you think you could pack me a box lunch to take to Kenichi? You changed. After the shuttle accident, I didn't know you. It scarred you. You were never the same. <laughs> Why? Why would he do that? What makes Jin better than me? Jin is not Geo's master. You're coming back to the base with us, aren't you? You're gonna fight with us, right? What's the matter? You want me and Jin to come together? No, I won't do it! I'm not going to abandon my friends like that! What a nice day. Yeah, maybe for you. Don't you at least feel a little bit guilty? Come on! You broke someone's kitchen window! The ball landed on the table, there was food everywhere! I had to clean it all up and listen to some guy yell at me the whole what time! I... <laughs> oh, Himawari! Good to see you! I'm so sorry I'm late. Thanks so much for meeting me here. No, please, don't worry, really. Here, have a seat! So nice of you. Are you hungry? I think I may have some crackers in here somewhere. So, you're Himawari? About time. I've heard so many good things about you from our Wazanoki uh, Hey, game. are you trying to kill me? Please don't say anything else like that, okay? And you're Yuko, right? I've heard about you, too. Watanuki told me you were the owner of the shop where he works after school. Huh? Nice to meet you. The queen is harder to take than I thought. Hmm. Which reminds me, an angel's been created. Oh, honestly, what a silly question. I created him, of course. What did you expect? Oh, that's right. You hate angels, don't you? Well, that's only natural. You're immortal. This is the best view of the city skyline. So I thought I might be able to spot an angel from up here. Makes sense. Do you read me? Yeah, I read you loud and clear. Commander Kato. The target's location is at A7. It's a small forest just northeast of the city. Roger. Uh, SDF? They were quicker than I expected. We've already planned for their arrival. Feel free to play with them if they interfere. Even if the factor is an amateur with zero training, it's still an original machina. Stay on your toes. that they think they could just screw around like this during an emergency. Yeah, but the more astounding thing to me is that even after Risiko had made her feelings known, Miu decided to go and kiss Hayase. Whatever, they're all just a bunch of pussycats in heat. Really, can someone please tell me what is wrong with them? Oh, well, looks like they're all becoming adults uh and leaving you behind. Has Judah turned into a stratified society? Hell no! Just look at it, Liz. Patty, look at how the clouds are. Flowing right toward the sun. It's so beautiful. Even the sky is symmetrical. You know, it might not just be the whole inconsistent arrangement thingy. Those are bombs, after all. Who wouldn't be scared? <laughs> I feel so much better. You guys are lifesavers. Thanks a lot. Your treat, right? Okay, good work, guys. <sighs> Why, you? What are you so chipper about? You guys have got some pretty impressive skills. I know, come work for me and together we can take over this country. What do you say? Big brother? Little brother? Nice to meet you. My name is Edward Elric. This is my younger brother, Alphonse Elric. Get that? Younger brother. The younger means little. You're little. Hey, are you alright, miss? Can I help? What <laughs> I thought a vicious a mermaid collapsed in the street who I don't even know! Stupid brainstorm came out of nowhere! Oh good, so she's alive. <laughs> la 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 la! You saw me! The random mermaid is really Luna? <laughs> I remember being kidnapped like this before. Uh, uh... What is it? Should I assume that I'm going to be killed now that I've seen your mermaid form? My, you do catch on quickly. Why does this keep happening to me? 
Why are you telling me you know Grandpa Rome? What a fantastic time of events! Especially for this poor pizza and pasta lover! You had me completely fooled! I thought you were really mean and scary! Oh, big brother! There you are! Do you like my hair? I found it a change. I think I look very sophisticated. Shikabane. You can burn them, beat them to death, and they come right back. Poor little puppet. You're Orikagami, aren't you? Yeah. Sorry about earlier. You remind me of a dog I used to have a long time ago, so I waved on accident. Oh, let's see. But maybe it was fate that made me wave to you. What do you say we'd be friends? <laughs> That's certainly a relief, Chairman. It's nice to meet you, Sayaka. I'm Mr. Shyamalan. Your grandfather is a close personal friend of mine. Please, I'm a regular guy, no one's special. The media's just trying to make me a celebrity. I'm sure they'll get over their fascination. Eventually, that is. Yeah, that's it. It's a UFO conspiracy. Yeah, he's hopeless. He's been watching too many dumb TV shows, if you ask me. <laughs> and now, what you've all been waiting for? Tonight's crown jewel. I'm sure she'd make a lovely decoration. Oh, sweet little pet. You can keep her whole and healthy. Or sell her for parts if you'd like to. Her eyes are two different colors, but for the discerning collector, that will add to her unique attraction. Oh, I know. Now that the manor is decorated so prettily, why don't we have a ball tonight? <laughs> you can be my escort and we'll dance around all night long. Isn't that a wonderful idea? <laughs> a ball? No! You wear the clothes I picked out for you, won't you? Pretty please, they'll be so cute on you! Listen, I don't want to... And of course, I'll be dressed to the nines as well. You come with me, I want to make you even cuter than you already are! <sighs> really? You can eat at a time like this? Well, yeah. I've got to make sure I'm on top of my game. I don't get how your stomach's not churning right now. These are the enhanced satellite images. Whoa! Much like the one we saw earlier, except its spirit mass is roughly 30 times the density of its predecessor. A barrier's been put in place to contain it, but... Of course, there's no telling how long that'll hold. Unlike you phantom creeps, I watch out for my friends! I won't let you lay a hand on her! Stay back. This could get ugly. I don't know how many more people you need to hurt before you're satisfied. But it ends now. I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to my friends. Messing with fairy tale is the biggest mistake you've ever made! As dragon slayers, they both have the ability to take on the mythical creature's powers. Which means that two wizards who are strong enough to slay dragons are about to duke it out right in front of me. I don't like where this is going. I call upon thee in the world of the celestial spirits! I beckon you to my side at once! Pass through the gate! Open! Gate of the Archer! Sagittarius! It doesn't hurt all that much, and she doesn't leave a scar. But still, there's no getting around the fact that Mocha's a vampire. And what if that scary Mocha, the one from the other day, is actually the real Mocha? All right, then. So you didn't just bring a girlfriend home, you brought four of them. Um, broad isn't exactly the right word. Well, being the closest thing you have to a big sister, I'm happy to see that you're growing up. I never knew that you had a big sister, Skune. Quiet! I'm not <gasps> done! Wow, to think that that same little I don't. Kyoko and I are actually cousins, but you see, because our houses are so close to each other, she and I basically grew up like brother and sister. I get it, but I bet you hate me, huh? I'm not like him. You won't be able to stand living in the same house with me, will you? What? I know what you're going to say. Not true. I do like you, really. So, is reading something that you enjoy? Very much. I read a lot. My dad has your books on the shelves in his library, so I borrowed them. There were six full-length novels and then two shorter ones. If that's everything, I've read all your work. Kimimuro. Oh, hey, Hanabi. I don't understand why you're studying for the civil service exam when you haven't even finished college yet. I want to pass, so I've got to study. 
Practical learning's more important. College classes bore me. Concentrate on graduating or you won't be able to find a job, let alone become a civil servant. Shame on you. Granted, no one's going to see you from across a crowded room and go, wow, nice personality. Sure, I get that, but still. Who are you to judge anyone? Least of all him. Nice one. <laughs> you know we take rings very seriously. <laughs> if it helps, you can fantasize me saying something inappropriate. <gasps> Whoa, what are you talking about? Come on, I'm not stupid. <laughs> right now, in this world, tens of thousands of players are enjoying this game. But none of them have a clue about the true potential of the full dive system. Did you know that by expanding the brain's control regions, one could influence a person's thoughts, emotions, and memories? <laughs> you can't! Technology like that is illegal! Oh, but you're wrong. In fact, several countries are researching it as we speak. The only thing standing in the way is finding people to experiment on. But one day, I was watching the news, and there they were. 10,000 ideal guinea pigs! That won't happen. I'll see to that. As soon as I get back to the real world, the first thing I'll do is report you to the police. Why? Why did you hide that from me all this time? Do you know how much I... I... I'm sorry. But I had my reasons. I couldn't reveal my identity. You idiot! Back when Raciela still existed, I was an administrator for this singing hill. Later, when we were supposed to evacuate to the Sorel, I wanted to save as many people as possible. So I remained here, at the Singing Hill with the rest of the staff, to provide guidance. Yes, Queen Beryl. The monster, Iguara, has already made preparations. Yes, and once we do, we'll be able to capture all of it. We need to put our powers together to protect Sailor Moon. Let's do it, girls! Beanie's power! Make up! Crescent I am Sailor Phoenix! In the name of the moon! We'll punish you!